lunch, Lady Doris. Have uh, you got any grease? Yes. Yes, we do. Then grease me up, woman! Hey, folks. This is Grease Scotsman, and this is my friend Jeff. In Chapter 7, there are 34 resin to hunt down. However, there are no upgrade stations, so everything you find will be stored for the next chapter. My recommendation remains the shotgun double shot or the pistol burst fire. But since we will have to wait until chapter 8 to spend our resin, I wanted to take a moment to express my appreciation for Valve. This chapter, from end to end, is a tour de force of game design. It turns the gameplay mechanics on their head and leans into VR's strengths in ways that most horror games don't get right. Valve never goes for cheap jump scares. They allow the fact that every millimeter of their level and character design oozes with the care and detail to drive your complete immersion into this roller coaster ride. They use dread more than fear. You know what is going to happen, what has to happen, several times during the level. And ingeniously, they force the player to overcome their discomfort in order to propel the action forward. This emotional buildup and release has a fascinating effect. You form a bond with Jeff. You either hate him or pity him by the level's end, and as if to signal that Valve understood this, they even provided an achievement and mechanic that lets you decide Jeff's fate. Again, this is game design at its finest, in my view, and this level, more than anything else, underscores how Valve still reigns supreme in their craft, despite the gaps of time between the Half-Life 2 episodes and today. It makes me very excited to see what the future holds. Those are my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks. Jeff? Oh, don't worry. You can't see. Here's this funny little guy with your name, Mozart. Who? See you on the other side, Mr. Warren. And keep your voice down. 